Good morning dear friends. Greetings to all of you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Today is a brand new day. There are a lot of things that you can accomplish by the grace of God and may the Lord enable you to do your part in making a contribution. And I pray that the spirit of God will enable you to see the truth. Now today's meditation is a continuation of yesterday. Remember we are dealing with this question are you a slave or a son in your own family? Based on the gospel according to St Luke chapter 15 verses 25 to 32. Now what was the elder son's problem? He should have been in the center of all that celebration going on in the family. And happy that his brother who was lost is now found or almost dead he is now came back fully alive. And so he should have been very happy excited in the center of the celebration meeting friends and neighbors and uh, those people who came for the celebration and household relatives etc but look at him missing all this excitement of a lifetime a special event a family event we were looking at the cause of his anger and resentment and refusal yesterday we have seen two of these causes number one was he saw himself in his own home as a slave not as a son and number two was never enjoyed a good relationship with others in the family and the third thing about him was the cause of his anger and his uh, frustration was the elder son failed to see that all that his father has is his that's what the father told son you are my son and all that i own is all yours as the eldest or the first born of the family he was in fact entitled double portion of all his properties and all his wealth and if he wanted to have a party with his friends he could have easily gone the sheep and uh, and and the lambs they all were uh, cattle they all were under his care he could have chosen not one but uh, any number of sheep or any number of lambs and have a party for his friends and enjoy he didn't have to behave like a beggar but because of his distorted idea about sonship he was missing a whole lot of privileges and opportunities to enjoy life in all its fullness and excitement but he missed it all and he messed up his attitude and spoiled his mental emotional condition the end result was a messed up relationship and a poisoned attitude or mentality and a missed opportunity to show and prove himself to be a worthy son and to others a worthy man indeed and well respected and honored remember Jesus told this parable as a rebuke to the Pharisees and scribes who thought that they were a part of God's family 
but he failed to fully understand his compassion for others and his love for others and he was so much willing to make them part of his family and uh, they ignored the fact that this god whom they claim to be their property only consider others also have a right to become family members and this is what they could not accept they ignored and refused to have anything to do with anyone these elite people they refused to do anything with anyone else except to their own group or the jews even during the days of jesus who entered into the kingdom of god so readily it is the publicans whom the pharisees and the scribes despised and the prostitutes and also the poor and neglected who were considered to be the refuse of uh, the society and ignored they were entering into the kingdom of god more readily than the pharisees and the scribes so they missed out while these religious leaders supposed to be the elite of the society were left out because of their attitude their distorted idea about the father and his love for everyone here is the conclusion god is yours he is for you jesus is yours he is your savior the holy spirit is yours he abides in you the father's love and his affection and the father's house and everything in it the father's land the father's cattle sheep and lambs and servants they all were his this old son he could order them and they could prepare a party for himself and for his friends readily and then wait upon them and thus live your life in full god has blessed you with every heavenly blessing that's what the scripture says thanks be to god or blessed be god who has blessed us with every spiritual blessings in heavenly places and my friends remember the father's word to the older son son everything i have is yours and remember this god the father never withheld any blessing from you or from me he has released now one place in the book of romans i think it is chapter 5 verse 8 says if god has not withheld his own son but gave him up for all of us will he not along with him give us everything else that we need what a wonderful father we have my brothers and sisters in heaven don't miss out in life to live your life in the fullness in all its fullness by the grace of god remember how much god has blessed you don't stand outside and gnash your teeth and miss it all the excitement of a 
wonderful relationship and fellowship enjoy your riches enter in and rejoice you know how rich you are in jesus christ it says because we have been adopted by god the father as his children we are coers of all what our heavenly father has and jesus christ being the only son of god he is so generous and happy to have his father's adopted children as his brothers oh he readily let you and i have everything that our heavenly father has jesus is also not holding anything back from you oh this is my father's my father's goodness everything is mine no he is so happy he is so excited he is so delighted therefore in god's house in the name of jesus don't behave like a stranger or a pauper or a beggar's life we belong to the family of god so rejoice enter in and enjoy don't miss out this excitement and so are you a slave or a son give up and throw away that slavery mentality you are a son and then in the family of god not only you but there are so many hundreds and thousands of brothers and sisters you have enter into relationship a relationship can bless you it can be a blessing to me hallelujah and so be encouraged today you are not alone you are adopted you have a family you have an address and god the father knows you personally he knows your name that shows how intimate how close he is to you don't miss it out god bless you as you realize this truth and enjoy them today begin it so that you will be a you will be a winner not a loser god bless you father i pray for my brothers and sisters young and elderly to enjoy oh, everything that you have because we belong to you we are our you, we are your children and everything you have are ours let this realization drive that us into your storeroom and appropriate every blessing you have released and enjoy and use them for your glory and honor thus may each one of us be a witness for you in jesus name amen this is a day a good day have a wonderful time serving the lord amen